Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop. This specific one is an HP 15-EF1008 model. And in this uh, video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up, how to tear it down and how you can repaste, clean up your fan system and your CPU. You should be doing this every year, every year and a half depending the usage that you're giving to it. But I will always uh, suggest that every year you do it for, for it to last a uh, longer period of the time. And this applies for any HP 15-EF series. So you don't have to have the exact model. So we're going to need a few tools. Tools I'm going to go over with. The tool number one would be a screwdriver set. I will suggest you to grab the iFixit screwdriver set. You can grab the Pro version. I'll leave the link in my video description. and the pro version will include you the opening tools and pliers, tweezers, everything. This one they have an S2 class steel, that means they're really tough in steels. We're gonna use a bit Phillips number one. And if you don't want to get the pro set, just get the screwdriver set and go ahead and get yourself a tweezers, a curved pointy tweezers. And you also need a opening tool. For the opening tool, grab a guitar pick. Again guitar picks and metallic ones are really suitable to opening covers and stuff after that you will need an alcohol isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol 95 percent plus you need a workshop towel one sheet of the workshop towel you will need a thermal paste a good thermal paste would be an arctic mx4 for this uh, laptop you want to go overboard and overkill, go with a Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut. But that's overkill, you don't need to. Go with an Arctic MX4, that's really suitable. And with all that set, now we're going to flip upside down. And down here, we're going to realize there's only two screws on one on each corner. But there are more screws are hitting under the rubber legs on the bottom and on the back one. We're going to remove them by using an opening tool. Stick the right on the corner on the edge and lift it up. When you lift it up, bring it up 45 degree angle. Do not go over like this, otherwise you're going to break the rubber. Bring it up like this slowly, gently and pull it up. It has an adhesive to it, so that's why it can be easily removed. The same thing on the back. Just go ahead and lift it up. Put it to one side. Now you're going to realize that there's more screws. There are two types of screws in here. The black screws, one on each corner that goes to the hinges. And then chrome screws that they go all over the plate, doesn't matter, because they are the same size and height. So keep them in two different piles, the black screws in one pile and the chrome screws in the other pile. Also, I realized there's only 1% of my viewers that subscribe to the channel. If you guys want to support the channel and if you find my content useful, and if you have any questions or requests, you can just help the channel by clicking the like on the, my videos. And subscribe to the channel it really helps and motivates me to make more videos and take questions and help you guys out all right now that we have two piles of screws right here we're gonna remove the bottom cover to do that we need to open up the laptop a little bit we're gonna grab the opening tool in this case a guitar pick stick it between the top and the bottom cover and just flip it like this towards outside you want to hear those big click sounds Go all around, make sure you hear those big click sounds. And once you do the front, do the sides, right and left side. All the way to the back corner. Here too. Don't be afraid, you need to hear those clicks. You can't break it, it's really hard. Do not use a screwdriver to do this. There we go. Once you did it all the way to the back corners, close up the laptop and flip it upside down. You want to grab your thumb, hold down from the bottom of the screen, grab down the cover, which is already loosened up from the front end corner, bring it up, run your finger right underneath here. And you see what I'm running right there. And now you want to pull it up from here and push it towards the other side. 
there are a few clicks and grips in the middle those they have to be released while you pull it up down here you're going to see the whole fan system this one is pretty clean and the cpu heat pipe and everything like that this one had a water damage before they already repaired and fixed it up that's why you see these white uh, water marks here i am guessing they didn't do a good job all right first we're going to remove the heat sink by removing four screws on a heat shield right here so remove the tiny black screws on a heat sink Once you remove those, just grab it by the tail and lift it up and bring it up. And there's your heat sink and the thermal face. It is kind of dry. So what we need to do to remove the fan, just remove three screws, one on each corner. One right here. Now you're going to grab the fan, bring it here. This jack here, you don't want to pull out this jack, otherwise you're going to break it. The way you're going to remove this jack, you don't need to remove the battery, but I'm going to show you guys how to remove the battery before doing all this, in case you want to be paranoid. So, let's go back and let's remove the battery, so before you guys start screaming at me. To remove the battery, just remove every screw that touches the battery. We usually do this without removing the battery because the is not necessary. And yeah, so remove it. I'm just by pulling it up here and pulling it to one side. Now to remove this uh, cable, fan cable. To remove the fan cable, all you need to do is to put the pointy uh, tweezers underneath on the back side and lift it up towards the uh, ceiling. Just bring it up just like that. So you have to come towards the ceiling, towards the up. Don't pull on the cable. That's how you remove it. Now you're gonna grab your old toothbrush and go over this one and clean it up, blow some air through here and clean up the fans on this one. And same thing on here. If yours is dirty, go ahead and clean it up and blow some air through here to remove the dust. And we're gonna grab our Workshop towel, we're gonna soak it in a little bit of alcohol and we're gonna remove the excess of the thermal paste of the heat sink just like that. And with the same towel, we're gonna remove the excess of the thermal paste of the CPU. You do not need to remove the tape around it or go crazy as long as you clean the die that's fine once you did that all you need to do is to grab the thermal paste put one drop right on the top here in the middle now first let's go ahead and put the fan in put the fan in place put the three screw for the fan Okay, to connect the fan in place, the jack, all you need to do is to align the jack over in the, in the jack of the cable on the over, over, straight over, and just push it down on the motherboard. That's all you need to just push it down, it will just click in. Make sure you press evenly on both sides, it has to sit nicely flat right on top. With that one in there, now we're gonna grab the heat sink, we're gonna bring it align it and bring it straight over the cpu and put the four screws on top make sure you cross screw them never go around around or clockwise always cross screw them put one right there hold it down with the other finger put the one in the opposite side cross each other on an x shape and then last two one doesn't matter the way you go and there we have it and the last thing will be to grab the battery, bring it on, align the contact, push it toward the motherboard, and place the screws for the battery. All right, with that one finished, now we're gonna grab the bottom cover, bring it over, align it straight, put the one side down first, whichever corner you want, and push it down, 
on the corners front end and make sure you hit those clicks go all the way to the back back middle and in the middle too here a little bit gently now you're going to open it up and if you see any opening like this one here all you need to do is to just pinch it real hard and it will go back in its place go to the corners make sure there's no opening in the corners once you finish with those last thing would be to just put the bottom screws remember the black screws one goes on each corner and the chrome ones goes all over the place i hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys to do your own service for your laptop if you did please click the like button and think about subscribing if you want to support the channel i really appreciate it if you have any question or request feel free to leave them in a video comment i'll always try to answer them as soon as i can Thanks for watching. As always, I hope I see you guys in my next video.